What's up guys, it's Chris CIA here, back with another video again today. And today's video should just help you get a little bit more insight about who I am as a person. Today's video is me just uploading some tier list makers that I made on tier list maker. <laughs> but I made a tier list for fast food restaurants and for Pixar movies, just so you guys can hopefully gauge who I am as a person more. But yeah, I thought it would be a cool little video idea and something that was fun to record and a good upload for you guys to watch. Alright, yeah, that's pretty much all I got, and let me know what you guys thought down below, but until next time, that's been it. Alright guys, I might alter this later, but let's just get it going here. First up, we have Arby's, it looks like. Arby's, initially, I'm just gonna put it sitting with a C, it is not that good really. I've never been a big Arby's fan, I've only eaten there a handful of times. Burger King next, also gonna go with a C, I would put this on the lower end of all the places where you can get fast food burgers for sure. And Burger King's just really never been that popular, at least in my life. Little Caesars, first of all, I'm gonna have to put that all the way up here in the S tier. Hot and ready pizzas, those things slap the crazy bread, also slaps 10 out of 10 for me. Carl's, I don't know if I've had Carl's that much actually, if at all, so my initial opinion is just gonna be to put it at a C. I don't really know what else to put it. Chick fil A food slaps here. Chicken sandwiches are good. Milkshakes slap. All of the fruits is really good. They have the special sauce. I forgot which called. Oh, yeah, it's literally called Chick fil A sauce, but it's really good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Chipotle. I used to work here actually. My sophomore year of high school, I worked here. The food here is really good. Make sure to get bowls and not burritos. You get more food confirmed because it's hard to wrap burritos. But I would not put it on the same as Lil's Caesars and Chick Fil A, so I'm gonna put it A for now. Domino's, Domino's is debatably the best pizza out there now. If you ask me, the crust and Domino's pizza is so good, it tastes extremely good. So I'm going to put that with in the S tier. DQ, DQ, where can DQ go? Mm, DQ is pretty good. The food there is not that good. Mostly just focus on the ice cream. Most of you guys probably know that. I would say it's above Arby's, Burger King, and Carl's, though, which I already spoken on not really had but i'm gonna take this fully so i'm gonna go with the b for dq five guys five guys is so good i oh yeah that's gotta go automatically a all you can get all the toppings you want the burgers are huge and it tastes overall just really really good in and out i've only had in and out a handful of times as i do not live over on that part of the country but in and out is very good i would say five guys is still better but in and out is definitely a very good restaurant the food there is exceptionally good so I'm gonna have to go with an A. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box, I've only had a few times too. Same, it's like in the same boat as like Carl's, but it wasn't that bad. I'm not really a huge fan of like chicken. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but just like, think I'm not a Popeyes fan or any of those places really. None of them are that good, but so I'm just gonna put it with C. KFC, I'm not like KFC personally. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan, it's definitely not going above a C. Like, I, just, I don't know if it's a D or not yet, because we have a lot of packing up C here. We can mess it around later, but initially I'm just going to put it as C. McDonald's. McDonald's has good food, but is it quite Little Caesars, Chick-fil-A, Domino's, or Five Guys? I would say the answer to that is no Chipotle in and out. I'm going to have to go with no. Honestly, McDonald's, you're going to have to go to B. The Big Mac will be taking a B. Panda. Panda Express is pretty good so panda's gonna have to go right up at a debatably the best chinese fast food that you can possibly get the orange chicken there is amazing and i'm definitely impressed usually when i go there papa john's papa john's is not good pizza honestly papa john's gonna have to go with d it is not good it's definitely worse than this year's and domino's both and it's by far the worst pizza on this list that i've seen pizza hut pizza hut is gonna have to go Pizza Hut's gonna have to go here at a B tier with McDonald's and DQ. I'd say Pizza Hut's definitely worse than Little Caesars or Domino's, but I would say that it's definitely better than Papa John's. I don't, don't think it quite fits in to the C tier of things either, because I'd say it's better than most of those foods, but it's definitely the lower end of all the pizzas. Popeyes. Popeyes, I'm gonna throw it in a D tier, just because I'm not a huge fan of like popcorn chicken and like fried chicken from restaurants, so like that fried chicken is good. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying it's not that good when it comes to the restaurant and stuff. If you ask me, I'd rather go almost anywhere else on this tier list and get faster from there. Sonic, Sonic is, I've only had a couple times as well. I do not think Sonic is that good though. So simply put, I'm just gonna put it in a D. 
Subway. Subway is pretty good. Being able to make your own. They're not five dollars for ones you want. They're six dollars now. But Subway is pretty good. I would not say it deserves to be up here with any of these though. So I'm gonna put Subway here to be Taco Bell, debatably my favorite fast food restaurant. Definitely the best Mexican fast food you can get. Might not be as high quality as Subway, but it does taste very, 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 very good. Nacho slap, cheese where you can one of those things ever. Also be the creator of Baja Blast, Mountain Dew, legendary. Definitely deserves to be in this ass tier. And one ease, one ease, one ease, one ease. I'm gonna put one ease with in the A tier because the Baconator is very good. All of the food there is usually good. They have good nuggets too. And I'd say it's right up there with in and out in terms of quality, if you ask me for the way it tastes. And yeah, Chipotle too, but I'd not say it really belongs in this S tier of fast food restaurant. Last but not least, definitely not least, White Castle. White Castle is very, very good. Honestly, White Castle is going to be an S tier. White Castle sliders are amazing. All the food there is really good. And I'm a huge fan of White Castle. It's definitely one of my favorite fast food chains. Alright guys, but I think I'm going to leave it here. So this is my final tier. This will be like Chick-fil-A, Domino's, Five Guys, Panda, Taco Bell, White Castle is an S. Chipotle, in and out one E's. And we'll see shit A, Pizza Hut, McDonald's, and Subway at E. RV's, Burger King, KFC, DQ at C. And Papa John's, Papa at Sonic. Excuse me, Jack and Carl is all in the tier here. Okay, guys, second list of video here Pixar movies. What are our thoughts here? Alright, starts off with Up. Up is a fantastic movie. Why didn't you get to see it? Should not have done that. Up definitely deserves. I gotta put it at A just for now. Just for now. But it, Up is a very good movie. We're definitely one of the best Pixar movies on this list. Original Toy Story is what it looks like here. The original Toy Story. I'm gonna have to put, it's going at least A, is it going A or S, that's the debate here, Toy Story, I'm gonna have to say Toy Story 1 is definitely going in S, it's definitely, debatably, if not the best Pixar movie, and definitely deserves to be there, MU, MU is a really good Pixar movie, and I think I'm gonna have to put that in the A tier, Finding Dory, Finding Dory, the sequel to Finding Nemo, it was a pretty good movie, um, I don't know if it deserves to be up here with any of the other ones. The only reason it would, I'd say, is because of its attachment to Finding Nemo. I'd say Finding Dory is pretty good, so it can go with B for now. Finding Nemo, you know it. It's one of the best Pixar movies. Huge movie in my childhood and a lot of other people's childhood. I know a lot of you probably could personally connect with this movie. Watching it growing up and definitely deserves to be there with Toy Story that last year. Cars 2. Where does this one belong? The sequel to The Lightning Queen himself. A fantastic movie, but I would not say it's better than any of these for sure. I would have honestly say it's probably under Finding Dory. I might have to go to see The Incredibles, one of the best movies on this list by far, and I would say it definitely deserves to be in the S tier. This is one of my favorite Pixar movies. Incredibles 2 came out very recently, and it's a very impactful movie in my childhood. Attitude, what a movie we have here. This movie was interesting. We have the boy Remy the Rat running around in the chef's kitchen pretty much the whole time, just fooling around. And I don't think it's as good as Finding Dory, but I do think it's definitely as good, if not better, than Cars 2. So it's going to stay at C for now. We might move up to B later. The Good Dinosaur, just for the sake of me not seeing this movie, I'm just going to be leaving it off of my list. Cars 1. Cars 1 is definitely going to have to belong at your A tier of movies here. It's going to have to be on there with Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Incredibles, and Cars. Those are, debatably, some of, if not the best Pixar movies that they've come out with. Cars 3. I really was honestly not a fan of this movie. It's gonna have to go in the D tier. I do not really like the way it was formed or the plot line of it. I do like the Cars franchise, but it was just not that good of a movie. A Bug's Life. This was a pretty good movie, honestly. This is gonna have to go either a B or an A, I'm thinking right off the bat. I'm thinking MU might have to go down first off here right away too, but I think he's definitely better than Cars 2 and Cars 3, Finding Dory, I don't know, that's a toss up, I'm gonna put it at A for now because Bugs Life was a solid movie, Incredibles 2, this was a good movie here, I think this might have to go right on par with either your A movies or your B movies, it might be on the sequels or it might go up here, I'm initially thinking it is gonna go most likely here after I'm around with some more, so I think I'm gonna put it at A for now. Wally, what a great movie about the little robot, the only thing currently alive left on Earth, I believe. And I did watch it for a couple classes, but this movie is exceptionally good, so I'm gonna put this movie here. Actually, I don't know if it quite belongs with these juggernauts, so I'm gonna put it at the A tier. 
Monsters Inc. The original to Monsters Inc. That is definitely going up in these S tier movies. One of my favorite Pixar movies. I grew up watching movies a lot as a child. And it's a very good movie. Inside Out. I saw this movie for the first time very recently. And yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It was an enjoyable movie. But I don't think it quite deserves to be on with any of these other movies if you ask me. A Bug's Life might be too high. But I personally like that movie a lot. So I'm going to have to put Inside Out at a B for now. A B. Coco. This was a very, very good movie. Honestly, this movie definitely deserves to be on the top half of this list. And I'm going to have to put Coco with your B movies. So that would be a tough pick. I know Toko is a really popular Pixar movie. It was a really good movie. It's just it's hard to pick with all these other movies on this list already. Toy Story 2, the sequel to the original Toy Story, a fantastic movie, another great work by Pixar here, and I feel like this movie deserves to be going at an A tier. Toy Story 3, the final Toy Story movie on the list, and if you ask me, definitely the worst of the three, and for that reason, I will have to be putting it, I'm gonna put it B to start, I'm gonna definitely mess with this list, I think more, but yeah. Brave. I also saw this movie very recently. This is definitely one of my least favorite Pixar movies that they've released, which is why I'm going to have to put it at a D, actually. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna have to finalize this list here. I'll give you one quick breakdown of my final list after I've altered and messed with all the bad, or with everything, excuse me. And that's pretty much it. In the S tier, we have Toy Story, Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Cars, and Monsters Incorporated. Your A tier, we have Up, Incredibles 2, Wally, Toy Story 2, and Coco. B tier, we have Monsters University, Inside Out, and Finding Dory. C tier, we have Cars 2, A Bug's Life, Toy Story 3, and Ratatouille. And last but not least, in your bottom tier or your D tier, we have Cars 3 and Brave to wrap up my Pixar movies tier. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all I have for today's vid. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this list and comment below what your thoughts are on both of my rankings. If you have anything that you think is not in the right place or should be higher or lower, please let me know below. I would love to debate this with you guys. But I would like to have this video reach a goal of three likes and if it reaches that, I will upload more to your list in the future so you guys can hopefully get to further know me and my personality. Alright, but that's pretty much it. Until then, that's all I have for today and it's been CIO Curse. Peace.